As we've reported this week, State Senator Jennifer Schilling of La Crosse is stepping down as the Democratic leader for the state. The news follows her decision to not run for re-election this November. And News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstead sat down with Schilling as she reflects on more than 20 years of service to Wisconsin. We talk about creating good paying jobs. You have known her as Senator Jennifer Schilling, a Democrat serving 20 plus years in this building. But what about Jennifer Schilling, a mother of two? I've always introduced myself as a mom with a minivan. Her career started with the La Crosse County Board in 1992. From that moment on, was this always what you wanted to do? I enjoyed public policy. I enjoyed public administration. Um, like I said, I'm a people person. I enjoy meeting people. Um, and so I would have never seen myself serving in the legislature back as a 20 year old student on the La Crosse County Board. Wisconsin and her citizens have made history. She then served on the state legislature starting in 2000 on both the Assembly and the Senate. She is the longest serving female leader in Wisconsin history. It was a, a wonderful opportunity to meet people, to get to see their businesses, tour their communities, see uh, the hometown pride that exists throughout Wisconsin. However, Schilling is ending her five year leadership role after announcing earlier this month she's not running for her seat again. 20 years is a long time. It's been a fabulous experience and I'm very grateful for the voters of, uh, at first it was the 95th Assembly District, the city of La Crosse and then the voters of the 32nd Senate District uh, that placed their trust in me. Her sons are going to be in middle school and high school this fall, and she says it is time to put her family first. I just really want to be home and be present for them in the last couple years before they leave. The memories representing hometowns of the Cooley region are forever reflected in her eyes. I really have enjoyed getting to know people and see them and see our communities at uh, their best, but also sometimes at their hardest. We've had um, historic floods. Uh, that's always been tough as we've gone down and toured and, and seen uh, those issues there, but the recovery is always something that's uh, inspirational. Not every person or politician has agreed with her work, but she says she has tried to search for that common ground. We can disagree uh, during the day, but I'm really glad that they're in my cell phone and I can call them up outside of uh, work and politics and go out to dinner and go out to lunch with them. I always have abided by what I call my Chex Mix diplomacy by making homemade Chex Mix and taking it to Madison. Politics is not for the faint of heart. This environment is tough. It's gotten particularly partisan. What needs to change right now that could make a real difference with our political system? Well, we need good people to step up and serve. We need them to remember who they are serving, and it is those, those constituents back home. She says it's those people in her hometown that kept her motivated to try to make a difference in Wisconsin. Mile marker 36, when I come over that hill on the interstate and I see the bluffs before me, I know that I'm home. I'll be home in 40 minutes for dinner or bedtime routine, and it's just very grounding, and Western Wisconsin and the people here are very grounding and have always kept it real for me. Well, so far, Schilling says she does not know what she will do when her term is up, but she would like to find new ways to serve her community. Her decision to drop out of the election leaves Republican Dan Kopanke running unopposed for that seat. She would not say who she thinks should run for her spot in the legislature.